so I'm starting to get a good uh, a good collection of uh, modules now. Uh, I did win the next uh, bid uh, on eBay, so I'm getting ten more of these little filters. So I'll have uh, the ability to build more of these things. But in the meantime, I won another eBay item. I made an offer. I think I got this for eight dollars. Um, something I've wanted. I, I've been using a, a, a BNC version of a, a power splitter, and I wanted an SNMA version, and this is a, a little mini circuit. It's, it's used, but I'm sure it's fine. I will test it, make sure it's, it's good. And uh, so it came in an, uh, a, a form factor that it's not quite usual for mini circuits. There are usually other types of boxes. And then I noticed when I brought it in, um, it's exactly it's exactly the same size and width and everything as um, as these other ones, except for these tabs. So I'm going. There's just four screws. So I'm going to open it up. We'll get to take a look inside, and then I'm going to take this over to the milling machine and cut these two uh, cut these two ears off, and then and then it'll be a perfect addition to these other ones. It'll be exactly the same size. So um, we'll have a power splitter. I don't remember the frequency range in this, but I think it's something something. Uh, something quite usable. So let's let's find a screwdriver here. I think this one is the right size. Sorry for being in the way of the camera. All right. So yeah, these are some long screws, and yeah, the bottom plate. I'll just uh, I'll just lop these ears off over on the milling machine, and we can take a look inside. Ah, this one has a transformer, so it's not just a resistive splitter. It actually has a uh, actually has a transformer inside. So let me uh, um, let me uh, zoom in on zoom in on that. All right. Here we go. The bottom side is nothing but PC board. I like these connectors. These are really, really nice. They're big, big panel mount, but SMA. Yeah, I really like those a lot. Let's uh, let's get in a little closer. That's better. I think everybody can see now. So there's a an input and then two outputs. And the input looks like it has maybe a load resistor on it, so a 50 ohm load maybe. And then it goes into this transformer and gets split. Um, so it's not going to be DC. Um, it'll be some some range of uh, frequencies that this thing operates at. So uh, yeah, let me uh, let me look it up online. All right. It looks like it's good from 10 megahertz to 2 gigahertz. So, yeah, let's uh, we've got some graphs and stuff down here, but let's go ahead and uh, saw those ears off and make it part of the family. Okay, uh, I took the ears off. I didn't even have to get onto the milling machine. I just cut it off of the bandsaw and then uh, and then put on the belt sander and smooth things out. So. So now it's uh, now it's exactly the same size as these uh, as these other ones. So yeah, perfect. All right. So uh, I did take a look at this under the microscope and traced out the circuit. I know people will be interested in that. Uh, so the uh, input goes to a capacitor. There's a load capacitor on the input, and then there's a uh, in uh, some type of uh, transformer inductor thing here. So uh, let me get something to point with. So one of the wires uh, goes, th so this is a two hole uh, ferrite uh, bead type of thing. So one of the wires goes through this hole and then up through this hole and then over to here. The other one takes the other route. It goes through this hole, up around this hole, and then out. And these are both twisted together as it goes through this thing. So um, yeah, <laughs> I don't really know what's going on there. But anyway, it uh, it splits it into the two, and then there's a 25 ohm resistor across uh, the the two, also. So I don't know. 
I don't know how to design something like that, but uh, that's what's in uh, that's what's in uh, inside this thing. And uh, like I said, uh, 10 to 10 megahertz to 2,000 megahertz, so uh, perfect. All right, I'm going to test it. Uh, I am inputting and outputting, and then have the other side with a 50 ohm load. And this is the uh, sweep that I get. So uh, uh, make sure it's nice and straight here. Uh, so very, very straight line, very, very flat. So from uh, 10 kilohertz up to, so 10 kilohertz. So uh, this thing is only said 10 megahertz, but it's obviously operating quite low as well. Uh, so that's good news. And it's uh, insertion loss is three and a half dB. So very good. So um, this is a really nice splitter.